Hey there guys, what's going on? So you know, when it comes to things here on my YouTube channel, I always try to stay in pretty decent standing with the music that comes out and the stuff that I really, really enjoy. Sometimes the newer things can take longer when you're really searching for a different kind of vibe and the words to phrase it properly, but sometimes something perfect from someone special emerges and the perfect words just come right on out for display. That's most definitely the case with today's video, which happens to guest star one of my all-time favorite bands, and their brand new Hot Off The Presses video and single. It's a big, big moment that a lot of fans, including myself of course, have been eagerly anticipating over the last few weeks with announcements and live clips and teasers, but now the first audibly clear, properly fun studio track is here. Yes, this is Brooklyn's own The National, and the first single off their May 21st release, Trouble May Find Me, entitled Demons. I don't know about you, but I think this means that it's time for a review on the behalf of yours truly. Let's begin. Initially, there's one very obvious positive with Demons, and it's that everything feels like it's in the right place. There are no glaring omissions or shifts in sound that feel radically altered or like some new plan for Matt Berninger and company. Rather, it's much like an old leather soul of reminiscence and familiarity. There's the unease and offbeat of their usual clever choice of quirky time signature, as well as a laid-back tenderness that almost seems to fly in the face of what a typical single is supposed to consist of. However, the more you listen to Demons and you start to soak in all the echoes, the delicate harmonies, and that welcoming charm of Matt's mellow, wine-coated baritone, it really makes total sense as a first single for this record. If anything, it's only more appropriate given how the National always seem to be defying typical musical convention in one way or another, especially since they really started to find their defining sound on records like Boxer and Alligator. It's a style they can't exactly play by the rules, but it makes the band sound as tight as they've ever been. In fact, if I were to compare it to anything else they've done, it has some resemblance to the plotting yet smooth path that was initially excavated by High Violet B-Side You Were a Kindness. However, Demons has more of an attention-grabbing feel than that track, and frankly, knowing the national, by the time the release of Trouble May Find Me rolls around, this may be joined by other album previews that are as good, if not already better than this one. This isn't just some band that puts their best song forward. They've always been known for a whole moving musical experience to the output that's reflected on their discography. And that's what great music has always been about and needs to keep coming back to. Thankfully, these guys know how to do just that. And Demons is also definitely no exception to the hot streak that the National have been on. It's certainly a great risk that they could regress, given how sharp they've been over releases for albums and soundtracks and whatnot in these last several years, but so far, I'm still tentatively quite excited. Maybe not even tentatively. This is a great track that I've come back to at least a dozen times already, and I'll probably come back to another few dozen more before the day is out. It's certainly a mellow start, but I dare you to not at least have some part of it stuck in your head after at least a few listens. Demons is a slow grower, but it makes a lot of sense as the first single. It clicks brilliantly in its lyrics, in typical, meanderingly perfect Berninger fashion, and it's just so good to hear a new song from a group that is just this talented. I can't get enough of it, and definitely go and check this one out. So those are some of my thoughts in brief on the new single from The National, called Demons, which will be on their May 21st release, Trouble May Find Me. Obviously, go and check out this song, and enjoy the video on YouTube as well, which I find to be quite creative and a really cool tie-in with this track. I'll of course go and link to that in the box down below, so you can see it for yourself. And again, I really can't suggest it highly enough. This is one of the first really, really, really big projects I was excited to tackle in 2013, and it's done absolutely nothing to let me down so far. Let the excitement just keep on growing. But until next time, everybody, long live music, long live the national, and long live being able to make great videos that will hopefully do their share to brighten up your Monday. Until next time, I will see you all very, very soon.